Hi everyone, my name is Fang and I'm a developer advocate in the TensorFlow team. This is the first video in a learning pathway to teach you how to train an object detection model and deploy it to a mobile app. So what is object detection? Let's start with the definition. Object detection is a computer vision task that analyzes an input image, then returns to you a list of known objects, what they are and where they are located in the image. The object's location is returned in the form of a bounding box, which is a rectangle that contains the object. So how is object detection different to image classification? Well, object detection tells you the location of the objects it has detected, but image classification only returns to you a list of labels, which means you may know that an object is in an image, but you may not know where it is. There's another more advanced computer vision task that we'll also see a lot called image segmentation. It's similar to object detection that it also tells you where the objects are in the image. However, instead of returning the bounding boxes, it returns a mask that tells you which pixel belongs to which object. Object detection is a very useful computer vision task. For example, you can use it to detect empty parking spots or detect road problems like potholes from driving footage. There are two ways to add an object detection capability to your mobile app. First, use a pre-trained model, or second, train and deploy your own model. The first one is to use a pre-trained model that can detect general objects. For example, if you want to detect objects like home goods, food, or plants, using the pre-trained model is recommended because you can use one off the shelf without spending time to train your own model. The second approach, if no existing model works for you, is to train your own model. This approach is necessary if you want to detect objects specific to your domain. For example, detecting different kinds of food ingredients like cheese, tomatoes, seafood, or detecting different kinds of road problems like potholes or road cracks. MLKit's Object Detection and Tracking API is an easy solution if you want to use a pre-trained model. You can add an object detector into your app in just a few lines of code. I'll walk you through how to do it in the next video. If you want to train your own model, then the steps required are first, collect and label your training data set from your own problem domain. Second, use TensorFlow-Lite Model Maker to train a custom object detection model. And finally, deploy the custom model to your mobile app using TensorFlow-Lite Task Library. Both Model Maker and Task Library are very easy to use, and you can train and deploy a custom model in just a few lines of code. However, collecting your training data set will probably require more work. In a video later in this learning pathway, I'll show you how to train and deploy your own object detection model with TensorFlow Lite. So that's an overview about object detection. See you in the next video and we'll start writing code.